All right, so thank you guys so, so much for joining us tonight. We are super excited about this class. Um, I was telling a couple of people that were on super early. Uh, one of the things that we see very often in a lot of our really larger groups is the question, how do I incorporate these oils as a hairstylist? Or how do I incorporate these oils as a nail tech? Or how do I talk to my massage therapist? Or how do I talk to my esthetician about the oils. And so Dana has been an esthetician for a very long time. She'll go into her story. She is also a published author. So she has a do it yourself hair care book. So she has extreme expertise on incorporating in those two industries. And she's taken all of this information and packaged it in a way she has an online course she has youtube videos that makes it easy for everyone to share with those in the beauty industry as well as those that are in the beauty industry incorporate and one of the most important parts of this is this is the idea of a leverage because if you're a self-employed person you don't make money if you're not doing the thing. And so this is an opportunity for you to leverage and get an additional stream of income while you're a very successful self-employed individual. So with that, I am going to go on mute and turn it over to Dana to share this amazing information with us tonight. All right, guys, welcome, welcome. So she stole one of my lines that I was gonna start with. If you don't touch people, you don't make money. Um, and so I say that because, and that's going to tie a, a large part of my story and really why I shifted and have such a passion in my heart to help those in this industry. So I am a licensed esthetician. Um, I have been a licensed esthetician for going on about 15 years. Um, and I love everything when it comes to the beauty industry. Like I love all the pretty things. I love makeup. I love skin hair, hair. Like I love all of the things and I always have. Um, and when I was practicing as an esthetician, um, I worked at um, all types of spas and salons, um, some very, very high end um, to just, you know, mom, pa type ones. And I really enjoyed every single moment. Um, what I found, though, in my journey and in my industry is some of the same similar things. So many of us in the beauty industry, um, we either have someone else that we're depending on when it comes to our benefits, when it comes to um, retirement, when it comes to all of the other things after. Um, and as mentioned, if you don't touch people, you don't make money. Um, and so I found myself in a situation where I felt the pain of that, okay? So right before I had my son, um, I was practicing as an esthetician. I was carrying on. I was making great money for that time. Um, it was enough to keep me exactly where I needed to be. We didn't have necessarily anything extra, but we had everything we needed. Um, and I was pregnant with my son. I went to go find out what the sex is. And that day I was told I needed to go immediately to the emergency. Um, and of course, like any mother, that was startling. Um, but what happened from there is I end up in the morning having surgery. I end up having to be on bed rest for five months, five months guys. So what that meant is for five months, I had no income and nor did I have any preparation to help me for that period that we were about to enter. And so many of you that maybe either are in the profession or no others are in the profession probably felt a similar pain when this whole pandemic situation happened, right? So most people, you know, they were, they were making good money, they were doing well, um, and they knew that next month they would be back in the salon or spa and they would be making more money. But unfortunately, because of things out of their control, most of them were shut down. And so then they were stuck. And so I really, really started um, back into coaching with a lot of beauty professionals and really honing in on what we're going to talk about this evening with a lot of them, because what they realized is you need leverage. 
it makes a difference when you have something that complements what you're doing and it's still bringing in some type of revenue and some type of income. Um, the one thing that whenever I meet with different beauty professionals, I always say is you must be able to partner with whatever it is that you use for your leverage. It's super, super important that if it's a shampoo line, if it's a um, skincare line, that you get behind it 100%. So for me, that's why I'm so passionate about Young Living. That's why I'm so passionate about these products um, and some of the things that we're gonna discuss today because it's something that I could get behind. And so it was simply me incorporating it and simply sharing. Um, so one of the concepts that um, I teach a lot about is the five senses. So in this presentation, we're going to talk about those five senses and how it creates an experience for not only um, our employees and our coworkers, but also for our clients. And when you give them that experience, they can continue to have that experience even when you're not there. And because they want to replicate that experience, they are using the same products or similar products that you are using in your services. Um, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Um, and we'll get right into the presentation. Can everybody see that? Good, okay, good, good, good. So hey beauty, so if you follow me at all on any type of social media, um, this is kind of like my little tag, hey beauty. This is how I address and talk to everybody. Um, we are going to get into some of the nitty gritty. Um, next. So I kind of told you a little bit about my story. So these are just a little bit more blurbs about all of the things, but Tashina did an excellent job of that. Um, so we won't go into that. But I do always think that it's super important that you know who is speaking to you and who is speaking into your life. So as I mentioned, we're going to talk about um, my concept of the five senses and how you can incorporate that as a beauty professional. Um, so I'm sure all of us know our five senses. So we have our smell, we have taste, we have hearing, we have sight, and we have touch. Next. So first, let's talk just a little bit about sight. So as a beauty professional, it is super important um, what we see and what our Clienty and what um, type of atmosphere that um, the staff is under. Why this is so important is did you know that colors actually um, help trigger certain moods, right? So like the background of this pretty slide, um, it has some of your green hues, right? So some of those green hues have to do with tranquility. They have to do rel with relaxation. Uh, so that is one thing that is super, super important. Um, when we think about, as a client, what is the process when they are with us, right? Um, we have to think all the way down to what does it look like when they book? What does it look like when they come into our salon or spa? What does it look like, or if we travel to them, when we come to theirs? What are we presenting before them? because it matters. Um, our eyes see first, and we make snap judgments on what we see. So sight is super, super important. Next. And that'll take us right into touch. And so now when we talk about touch, um, this is where that whole clean beauty is really gonna come into play. So what products are we using in our salon and spa? It is so important that we're reading labels. As a beauty professional, you are a professional. The people that are in your hands and are coming to you trust you to provide them with the top highest quality and they respect your opinion, right? So if you tell them this shampoo is amazing and this is great for you, right? They're gonna believe you because you're the professional and so, we have to think about those things when we choose what type of shampoos are we using? What type of um, makeup are we using? What type of skincare are we using? 
the beautiful thing I believe about the beauty industry is now, can you narrow it down to just one brand? Absolutely. But do you have to narrow it down to just one brand? Not necessarily, right? So create options uh, for not only yourself, but for your clients. Because whether people have um, sensitivities or allergies, you wanna make sure that you're catering to those things. Sourcing and sustainability matter. Support companies that support people, animals, and our environment. Again, it matters. It matters what you choose. Because by your dollars, you are making a stance for better products or not such better products. Um, as, beauty, as beauty professionals, um, they need us to advocate for them. Our clients rely on us to be their advocate when it comes to products. Um, the skin is not truly a protective barrier from toxin exposure. So many people think that because we have a layer, like it's protecting us, where the reality is our skin is permeable, right? So when we put things on our skin, it immediately gets into our bloodstreams, okay? So when we think about that, um, it, it truly can cause a lot of toxin exposure. So in some instances, a dermal absorption can be more harmful. It does not have to, the filter of your nose, it doesn't have the filter of your mouth. So neither does it go through your digestive system. Um, so we want to be very, very conscious of what we're using. Next slide. So if you're familiar with some of the Young Living products, the beautiful thing is you have options. Um, you have options whether you're a makeup artist, you have options whether you're a massage therapist, uh, whether you're a skincare specialist. There are options uh, for that touch. There are options for the skin. Um, there are options that are safe, that you can stand by, um, that you can um, ethically be able to promote to your clients as well as they can take them home and benefit from it again, right? So, so many times I've gone to maybe hair salons and things like that and I'm like, oh, I love this, this shampoo. And they're like, great. Um, where do you get the shampoo? Oh, industry source. Great. And so I walk away and I buy it from industry source, but that person doesn't benefit from it, right? they don't make any money because they referred some third party company, right? The beauty about something like Young Living, the beauty about something like what we have is when you stand behind it, when it's something you believe, right? You can refer this to others and then you can benefit, but guess what? We go next level, y'all. So that client that was in your chair, that loves that lip gloss or loves that bloom cleanser can turn around and say, hey, my mom likes that lip gloss too. My sister likes that cleanser too. And they can do the same thing that you did, right? They can give their referral link and then their mom can get lip gloss from them. And so what we have is the cycling of the dollar back and forth, right? And most of the times when we think about regular industries, right? If, if, again, if I went to industry source and I went and bought that shampoo, well, the stylist never gets to see any of that money. I don't get any money when I tell my sister to go back to industry source. The only person that benefits is industry source, right? So what we have is a system that it keeps helping others. It keeps that cycle of that dollar. So think about that when you're making your decisions. Next. So next, let's go into our next sense and that is hearing. Um, so when we think about hearing and what we hear, right, this is super important when it comes to the environment and the space that we are creating for our clients, for our staff, okay? Um, is it tranquil music? Is it relaxing music? Um, what are we speaking, right? Do we speak life over our business? Do we speak life over our staff and our clients? What are the words that we're saying? 
Are they positive? Are they uplifting? Um, know that your words have power and they have energy, right? So if everything that's coming out is negativity, oh, the, the, the climate of the situation we're in, what if we have to get shut down again, right? All of those what ifs can cause and create an environment that is going to be um, toxic as well as unhealthy. So think about what do you hear? Um, next. Our next one we wanna talk about is taste. And so this might be one that you might think, what does this have to do with the beauty industry, right? <laughs> like all I need to do is go in, I need to get my hair done and I need to keep on moving, right? But understand again, when we create an experience for people and they walk away and continue to have that experience, who do they think about? They think about where they first had that experience, right? So they can be thinking about you when they're at home and they can be incorporating the things that you've taught them through taste when you're at home. So some of the beautiful things that um, we know, um, Young Living has what is called Vitality Oils, right? Young Living has Vitality Drops. Young Living has tea. Did you know Young Living has tea and carries tea? Right? So there's so many ways that when someone comes into our spa, when they come into the salon, they can experience Young Living again through their taste, right? And then now I want that tea, right? So where are they going to go to get that tea? And then their cousin wants the tea too. And they don't want to come back to you, but they can refer from themselves that same tea. Next we're gonna talk just a little bit deeper about again some of the things that they can experience um be creative right you can make cocktails you can make um all types of um things i know when i had my um spa um everybody got a sachet of ninja red um that was something i wanted them to be rejuvenated I wanted them feeling great after their experience. Um, so they walked away with something um, that again is going to stay on their taste buds, they're going to experience it, and they are going to continue to use it even far after I'm gone. And let's go into our very last sense. Um, and none other than smell. <laughs> so of course we save the best for last, right? So smell. Emotions can evoke strong emotional reactions. Our olfactory receptors are directly connected to the limbic system, the most ancient and primitive part of the brain, which is the seat of emotions. So think about that, right? Think about that again when you're creating an experience. Can you diffuse? Can you diffuse something that invokes happiness, right? It makes people feel good. Maybe makes them feel relaxed. Maybe you are in an environment that's high stressed, right? <laughs> Especially right now. Diffuse, diffuse, diffuse. It can do so many amazing things for the environment that everybody is exposed to and everybody that is experiencing. And so even outside of a salon, even outside of a spa, I want you guys to really think about this. Think about what your experience would have been like the last time maybe you went to the dentist and they were diffusing when you came in. Think about what your experience would have felt like if the last time maybe you went to the doctor, they were diffusing, right? Or maybe when you got your taxes done and the accountant, they were diffusing, right? So can you see that while we're talking to our beauty professionals, this can cross so many boundaries, right? Because we are all essentially in the customer business, right? And so this environment that it creates can be a trickling down effect that can, again, not only create an amazing experience, but it also can give you an extra cash flow, right? It can get you an extra stream that not only are you helping you, but you're helping those clients that were in your seat because they can walk away and they can refer and they can refer and they can refer. 
And so everybody continues uh, to be helped and to be blessed. Another thing when we talk about smell, um, as a beauty professional now, is think about even the aromas in your shampoo. Think about even what you clean your spa or salon with, right? So again, we want to create an experience. We want to create, obviously we want cleanliness, right? So we want something that's powerful, but smells good. Um, I can't see everybody, but if you guys don't mind raising your hands, like how many people have gone somewhere recently um, through COVID and like it smelled like straight bleach or alcohol and you wanted to like either walk out or vomit? Like, like I, my dentist, like I, like I did get some of the sanitizer. I'm like, this smells like straight rubbing alcohol. Like what is in here? Like I was shocked and, and I get where they're going. I mean, granted, I'd rather than try, be trying to keep things clean versus not, obviously. But I'm like, man, if they had some thieves sanitizer at this desk, what a different experience this would have been. Not only did my hands hurt from using their sanitizer, but I'm like, ew, I can't get this terrible smell off. <laughs> like, so again, Think about all of those little details. Think about all of those things. Maybe at your salon station, you can have a hand sanitizer. Maybe you can have um, the thieves soap in the bathrooms. Maybe you can have some of those things. Think about those things. Smell goes so much further than just your surface. Um, next, please. And so here's just a few examples again. Diffuse, diffuse, diffuse. Um, Young Living has shampoos, they have conditioners. Um, so they have, um, of course, thieves where you can clean with. Um, I, I just recently was reading more about thieves and the power of what it can do. Um, get this in as many businesses as you possibly can right now. Um, use it, utilize it, and see how it might benefit you. Um, next. So with that, if this is your first time with us, we thank you so, so much for being with us. We thank you that you took the time to really dig into this information and hopefully this gave you some things to really, really contemplate and really to think about. What you need to do first and foremost is get with the person that invited you. Get with the person that invited you, get all of your questions answered, um, help them guide you to exactly which kit or which start is going to be best for you, but don't hesitate, don't hesitate. Get started today, um, get started right now um, so that you can get these things, incorporate them not only for yourself, but in your practice and see how this elevates your practice, see how you can help other people as well. Um, I love, love, love this slide because this may or may not be for you, but I hope it's for you because I'm telling you, with the frame of the way um, things are going, um, you can one, simply enjoy the wellness benefits, but two, earn your product for free. That's another thing that I've been really, really stressing lately. What would it look like if you no longer paid for your shampoo? What would it look like if you no longer paid for your cleaner? Where could you put that extra money instead of purchasing those type of things. That's what Young Living offers you the possibilities of. And then maybe you're saying, you know what? I don't know what's going to happen and I don't know if I want to really be around people much longer. So take advantage then of earning even an extra $50, $100, $1,000 a month. Whatever is within your framework, now's the time. If ever you needed a sign and if what just happened or is we're going through right now is not your sign, I'm telling you, this is the sign. <laughs> now is the time to get started. Um, so with that, I will stop sharing my screen. That is all I had for you guys this evening. Um, I hope that that was um, helpful. I hope that you guys enjoyed that information um, and have little other ways that you can kind of think about using um, Young Living and some of the products.
Yeah, so is there anyone that has any questions, any comments? Um, I know we do have some experienced beauty professionals on here. Just want to thank you, Dana, for that information because it's always good reminders. It's always good for everyone to realize we have every single product line here. And I've seen it. I've been at vendor events and I've seen makeup artists and they give some suggestions to people. And then the person says, so what would you recommend for me? And they're used to using 15 different things. And they're like, well, give me a second on that. And then they come up with something and they're not getting paid for it. So if you are sharing in those industries, why not recommend from your online franchise store? And if you are a hairstylist, you got everything there. If you are a makeup artist, you got everything there. If you are an esthetician, you have three different separate skincare lines. You've got everything there. So deep dive into that so that every time somebody gives you a compliment and gives you a recommendation, I'm not in the beauty industry, but every time somebody rec gives me a compliment on how I smell or my hair or my skin, I can throw it back to my spa party and my online business. Anybody else want to make any comments? I know some people have put it. Anybody want to verbally tell us some of the things? There's a lot of people that have actually commented in the in the chat. <laughs> no questions, guys? No comments? So yeah, so just a reminder, the replay will be available on my YouTube channel, so it's available for you to share with any other individuals, but if nobody has anything else to share, I think we'll just say goodbye to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And again, get with the person that invited you. Um, we appreciate you guys being here. Have a great night. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you, Paul. That was great. <laughs>